Hello, I'm Sam Stovall, Chief Equity Strategist of S&P Capital IQ. In this week's Investment Strategy Report, found on www.getmarketscope.com, I summarized our Investment Policy Committee discussion. In true end-of-winter fashion, U.S. equity markets delivered a chilly response to Fed Chair Yellen's first FOMC statement and press conference. Stocks tumbled nearly 1 percent and gold fell close to $30, while the dollar and 10-year yield rose, possibly on a literal interpretation of an off-the-cuff remark that short-term rates may rise six months after the end of the bond-buying program. In addition, investors may now be wondering if the chair is less dovish than previously believed. Like last year's reminder that QE3 will need to be unwound, investors may now be responding to the realization that this low-rate Erewhon eventually must come to an end. Welcome to Wall Street. From a technical perspective, the S&P 500 is maintaining the uptrend that has been in force for the last few years, and we identify 1918 and 2030 as upside targets using Fibonacci extension projections of the last decline. The 1918 level also represents the upper trend channel line. The S&P 500 remains well above its 30-week exponential moving average, which we believe has been a good barometer of significant dips over the past year. There remains robust support in the 1627 to 1707 area and only a breach of this zone along with a piercing of the lower trend channel would alter our bullish bias. Gold, however, has pulled back from our upside target of 1381 to 96, while support remains in the 1309 to 1321 zone, in our opinion. Only a drop below 1309 threshold would alter our bullish outlook on gold. I'm Sam Stovall, and I'll talk with you again next week.